Go. Hello, welcome to the review of the R Series Fox One Man XL Bivy. This is the camo version. We also have the khaki version over there, which Baldy is having at the moment. Yeah. Good things about the bivy is the height. As you can see, I'm six foot tall, and I can just about get in without bending my back, which I feel when I was making the decision to get this bivy was what I needed because in my job, it's a lot of manual lifting, which Ian Baldy <laughs> will tell you. Go yep. on, Baldy, tell him. It certainly is. Does my bloody back in anyway. Pegging points are all around the bivy front. You start pegging out at the back and bring it towards the front. Storm poles here for extra retention. There's no outer skin, which we haven't got at the moment, but I haven't had a problem with ingress of you, Baldy. Nope. No, we haven't. Plenty of vents, as you can see. Nice sunny day here on the bank. All the vents open. They are open. Oh, take your ramp back. Yeah, let's get on. So we got all oh, vents open at the in. back. Yeah, hole, nice and sturdy. As you can see, full vented. Uh, it's absolutely massive. And this is actually, I would say this is quite a small pitch, isn't it? Yeah. I would say this is quite a small peg. And it's got on it okay. Again, if you come around the front, fold it. We've got an inbuilt peak, so you don't have to put your peak on, it is inbuilt, which stops the rain driving in. We have two rod strap retainers. I will say I would would have had two on the back, like the Royale, but unfortunately they didn't. That's a little bit of a niggle. Uh, another niggle, if you come in here, is the fact that the ground sheet is clipped in, it isn't zipped, zipped in. I would have preferred it to be zipped in but for the size of the bivy and if you look at me now I'm studying my bivy I can get dressed in it I, you know I can walk around straight up straight out to my rods I feel that this is a very good in between bivy in between a brolly system and a pramod because it gives you that height and it also gives you the flexibility it takes us what 10 minutes to put up yeah w once you've used it a few times it yeah, once up, you've used it, it a few times we're used easily. to it i would say if you are buying one practice with the bivy because it is a bit of a nightmare to get right but i'm guessing that's with every bivy um there's lots of space to hang your stuff phones even though i've got mine on my bed receiver pocket phone pocket we have three door options which are the normal car, uh, camo or khaki which Ian has got. We've got the uh, it's a mozzie mesh door, isn't it? Yeah, mesh and, and then the, the PVC, PVC door. PVC door yeah. um, I mean, I'm, I'm struggling with things to find fault with. The, the ground sheet is a massive fault. I think it should be zipped in, don't you? Yeah, it would be better zipped in. I think in, it but... would be better zipped in. I mean... <sighs> It gives you the flexibility when you're yeah. on uneven ground, though, doesn't it? With the straps. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's a mass. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> think it's a very uh, big problem. I think it's it's a problem that's negated by the the height of the bivy and what it gives you in space. If you, I've got my bed, my chair, bivy table, two bags. I've got two bags in it. One there, one there. Got my rub bag down there. Shoes. I mean, the bivy is absolutely massive. And I think at the moment, it is, if I'm correct, if not, I'll put the price somewhere here. Um, it's 289.99, and that's for the camo or the khaki. I think I paid a bit more. I think Ian paid a bit less. Mum was on offer, wasn't it? Two, yeah, yours was on offer. But time, yeah, but... I... I mean, I'm struggling with things to find wrong with it. I will say that I have had a problem with this one, where one of the pegging points wasn't sewn in properly, and I had to send it back to Angling Direct, and then 
back to Fox and then in the end I got a brand new one which I am happy with, Ian's also happy with his. As you can see my little setups over there. Might want to zoom in. <laughs> Right, so I, I can I can yeah. try and edit this out on the, <laughs> the final, but yeah, I mean the the rod retainer straps. I I probably would prefer maybe them at the back of the bivy instead of the front, so that you know when your rigs are hanging down, they're not swinging into the front of the mesh. They're actually swinging towards the outside. It's fair. Yeah. But yeah, I mean it comes with it comes with one extra peg, which we found is probably a bit. Yeah, because I've lost mine already. Yeah, yeah, you've <laughs> lost one already. So I, I, I would, I would expect people to pick up extra pegs anyway. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, if this video does well, I don't mind buying the inner dome. But when I'm looking at it, if you come in here again, Ian, the, these toggles are about an inch, maybe an inch and a half off the top of the bivy. I think you'd lose a bit more room, wouldn't you? I think I'd lose a lot of room, yeah, yeah. I'd lose a lot of room. Right. And I really don't yeah. want to lose that much room. Uh, we've had this up in, in what was it, Force, Gale Force Brian or Storm Brian oh, yeah. or whatever it was. Well, you, you wouldn't have known it, would you, Bill? Really? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't have known it. It withstands all yeah, weather, no, all weather conditions. It's probably all that beer I have. But, yeah. It's it's a very good bivy. You can you can adjust the tension here if you want. Every, everything is adjustable to to your needs, and it does fit on most pegs we have found. So we we worried, didn't we? That it wouldn't it wouldn't. Yeah, but it, 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 it looks it like it don't. But then when, once you've got it up and yeah yeah, once you sort it out, have a bit of a faff around. You can do it, and we have been able to do this one person as well. Because you've done it one person, I've done it one person. And again, just having that peak inbuilt is, is, is a plus as well because you don't have to, to faff around trying to put a peak in. But again, that's what you get with Pramods. And yeah, it looks all right. And so does yours. So, yeah. So thank you for watching. And I hope this helps you make a decision on whether to get one of these or not. They are available in two mans as well. And I think there's a... A very big one that fits a van in. Well, I don't think I'll be. I mean, I, I'd recommend them for. I, I would recommend them for the size. I would recommend them for the size, the price. I can't. I can't say about the the, the quality of the build at the moment because we have all, actually only had them a year. But you know, I I can't say that about any other style of bivy. So, but yeah, it's been it's been fantastic. It has been fantastic. The door up, three door options, fantastic. Zip on, zip off. Fast zips as well. So it's Velcro down the side, just rip it down. It, it, it is a really, really good bivy. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And when you've got this lovely setting. Oh no. It's a fish shot. Right now, don't it's, we? Uh, just need yeah, a bite yeah, now. Yeah. Thank you for watching.